So what's up guys, this is going to be my first attempt at a part install video and today we have some whiplash um, shorty levers that are powder coated black. What they actually do is shave down uh, a stock lever, I think it's like an inch and a quarter and then powder coat them. Um, so they're, they're custom made, they're not the CNC ones that are out now. but. Um, yeah, they're pretty awesome. There's nothing wrong with the stock lever design other than they're too long and I want a two finger and three finger some controls. So yeah, we're going to install those. Um, may do a little time lapse on that and kind of an instructional deal on how to do that. We also have one of their really cool um, locking seat bolts uh, that has a special key. To tighten it and then it and then it has a, a little finish washer so here we go so the stock well pretty much all uh, Harley levers there's a pin that comes in from the top uh, I don't know if it's a clevis pin or what they officially call it but at the bottom there's we have no light, but there's a snap ring in there that you have to get off to pull the pin out from the top on the clutch side. And it's the same on the brake side with the pin and snap ring on the bottom, but we may have to loosen the tension on this cable uh, to get the lever out. I'm going to try to not do that at first and see what happens. do is there's a little plastic sleeve that's in the lever the stock lever you want to transfer that over to the new uh, lever and reinstall that it's a bushing uh, to keep the slop out of the lever side done and man that looks awesome again these are whiplash speed co custom made black powder coated levers um, with the clutch side yeah there's not enough slack to get the cable out so what you have to do is come down here to the uh, cable um, adjuster and you have to take out all the slack in the cable and that will give you room to get the cable out to replace the lever. Alright so the clutch side you actually have to transfer over uh, a couple things. There's a sleeve where your pin rides in and there's also a sleeve that the clutch cable uh, goes into so you can pull the cable and it's actually nylon so those are replaceable so you don't wear the levers. And there's also an anti-rattle spring that you have to transfer over to the new lever. So that's going to be it for today's install. We got the 
Whiplash Speed Co. Shorty Levers installed and it's really super simple. It took me less than 15 minutes to get them done. Uh, they're right at, I believe they're 80 bucks. And just check on them because they sell out really quick and he only has limited supplies of them. But I'll put a link in the description of this video to where you guys can get them. Also got the their anti-theft bolt, uh, seat bolt installed. There's a little tool to tighten it down so you can't just take it off without anything else. But yeah, that's it. Dinah's completed for now. Uh, just waiting on the Santoro crash bar, Santoro Fabwork crash bar, and we're ready to roll. So thanks for watching, guys.